Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very exciting announcement for you today. Hi, my name is Steve Petrato, Senior Brand Manager with Spectrum, and to my left is Mr. John Adams, our Technical Director, and today we are launching the really exciting iX12. John, this is something that you and I have been working on for a long time. I know you have been putting I can't even tell you how many hours, and I'm sure you don't even remember how many hours we put on this radio. But this is something that the Spectrum team has been working on for almost over a year it's now. It's been well over a year. In fact, uh, you know, I was thinking about this just the other day, preparing for this, uh, for this release. We've actually had over 30 engineers um, been working on this for over a year. We've actually wow. had uh, units in beta test uh, starting about eight months ago. So it's been quite a process. What I can tell you, though, is the end result is going to usher in a new generation of radio Absolutely. control. Yeah, so the iX12, as you guys see it in front of you, is an Android-based radio transmitter. It is an intelligent transmitter. And it's not just Android. It's got Bluetooth. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got a serial port for third-party modules like Crossfire. Uh, and much, much more. I think every day I start using this radio, I find a new use for it. And that's not just me saying that because I'm sitting here right now. That's an, as an honest user of this radio, I find a new use for it nearly every day. Because you're connected to Google Play Store. You have apps that can connect to it, lap timing systems. Like I said, the Crossfire. I mean, there's just the audio all. events uh, yeah. is extremely powerful. You can literally program any um, voice um, that you choose, any phrase, even a paragraph or sentence. You can also tie that in with macros. So, for example, you um, have telemetry built into your aircraft. Um, you can have announcements for. You know, like, for example, sailplane guys, at the top of the launch, you have it set up so that down elevator, when you come off the winch, um, you get down elevator, and it says launch height, 537 feet. The, yeah. the things you can do with this is absolutely amazing. So, guys, before we get into the more details here, I want to kick it over to the launch video, because I think that will really give you the essence of what this radio is. So, without further ado, check out the IS-12. The next evolution in radio control isn't just about doing what you love better. It's about connecting your hobby into one seamless, simple, and reliable platform. The all-new Spectrum iX12 Intelligent Transmitter combines versatile connectivity with familiar yet refined touch programming. Equipped with eight programmable switches, two sliders, six trimmers, one knob, one serial port, and one four inch Android interface. The iX12 is engineered to match a wish list from users like you, no matter what you fly. With the power of an Android interface, quad core processor, USB, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, you're now connected to a wide world of apps and much more. You can now invite friends directly from your radio when you are heading to the flying field. Quickly and easily adjust parameters on your flight controller via USB. With Bluetooth, set up lap timing systems on the fly and track your flights. Three, two, one, go! If that wasn't enough, the iX12 is equipped with a unique serial data port that seamlessly connects with long-range equipment such as the Team Black Sheep Crossfire. Tag your friends and crush your favorite spot. The iX12 is the perfect companion in the shop. Plan your next flying event or search your favorite forum online. With intuitive programming, any model type up to 12 channels can be easily set up. The 
iX12's unique graphic interface makes picking pre-programmed mixes an absolute breeze. With the all-new text-to-speech functionality, you can easily have the iX12 speak anything you can type for flight modes, switch change alerts, warnings, and even flight sequences. Normal. Full span aileron. Flap. Thermal. Cruise. Crow. The Spectrum Airware app has been carefully crafted to be easy to navigate for new users, yet designed with the same simplicity of Spectrum you have come to love. Stepping up to the iX12 is easy. All G2 Spectrum models will easily transfer over with just a few taps on the screen. You can even share your model to another iX12 in the field via Bluetooth. Online information is now accessible via your iX12. Instantly pull up PDF manuals, recommended settings, and even YouTube videos. Let the iX12's Bluetooth connectivity transform your flight by matching your music to your flying style. Enjoy your passion like never before. The Spectrum iX12. More than just a transmitter. All right, guys, if that video doesn't get you excited about this launch, I don't know what will. But, John, let's jump back into the radio, talk about some of the features. And we're not going to keep you guys here all day, but make sure you check out the website today. Tomorrow we're going to have a Q&A session. But, John, let's jump in. So this app has been fully designed to feel kind of like a Spectrum radio system, but also at the same time be completely new uh, for, the, for this user, right? Absolutely, 100%. So keep in mind, uh, this is a f the family of Airware, and in fact, it's still called Airware. So the intuitive functionality of the radio, obviously touchscreen, um, it works very similar to Airware. In fact, if you're a current Airware user, if you own a DX9, DX18, DX20, any of our current Airware systems, you're going to find this extremely easy, and you're likely not going to have to crack open the manual. Yeah. You'll notice at the bottom we have model adjust and setup, just like we do in our conventional. Of course, it's touch, color touch screen. You navigate simply by selecting the particular screens. They pop up. And uh, you'll find it extremely intuitive to easy to use. Also, 100% of the functions and features that are currently there uh, in Airware are available here. Furthermore, with any of your existing um, Airware systems, if you have a DX9, you can take your all the models, put them on an SD card, and import those directly. So this is yeah. absolutely backwards compatible with existing Airware as far as model um, programming. Um, also, it'll drive any of your DSM-2, DSM-X receivers. Um, so that's the basic functionality of how this works. Added to that are all the Android third-party applications. We mentioned manual a few seconds ago. There's actually a built-in manual. You press the manual functionality. A manual pops up that you can search. You can go through the index. You can find anything you want to know about this. So yeah. uh, the, the number of features and functions that this provides is just astounding. Yeah, so on top of all of that, you know, we, we've gone, through, obviously the, the, the programming is easy to use and understand. There's so much there. Let's go into the, uh, the serial port on the back. And this is something I'm very excited about uh, as an FPV guy. Um, and I'll spin this radio around here so you guys can see. And this is the reason why this radio looks a little different than the others on the table. Uh, but this radio has a built-in serial data port. Mm -hmm. um, and what that means, guys, is now you're able to use systems like the Team Black Sheep Crossfire and future systems that come out. Um, but this is, and I, I'll show you on the bottom here, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a serial port right here 
and you plug right into that and that's going to provide power straight to your crossfire so you don't have to run an external battery. Uh, now if you're familiar with crossfire you're going to realize that you may need a higher, like a 3S battery to run 2 watts out of it but for up to 500 milliwatts this radio can provide the 9.5 volt power but right out of the box this thing has crossfire and that's something that Spectrum hasn't had before uh, and other brands have but now we've got this system mounted to the back, it's built into the software, you turn on crossfire into the, in the, in the airware software and you're ready to go for your model. So whether it's quads or airplanes. So Steve, rocking. for uh, customers that aren't familiar with Crossfire, so yeah. obviously it gives you super long range uh, sure. controllability. Typically, what kind of range can you see from Crossfire? Crossfire is pretty uh, pretty crazy. So I've uh, I've seen up to 15 miles. Now, obviously, there's legalities involved with that across the board. Uh, but a lot of times, this is being used for higher penetration. So whether you're flying through an abandoned building or you're doing tree flying and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. with FPV, you're in a lot of situations that normal RC isn't. And the Crossfire system gives you that 900 megahertz ultra long range or high penetration uh, radio connectivity on CRSF protocol so you're not uh, ma major latency. Mm -hmm. There's no major latency there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's super cool, something I'm super excited about and we'll move on from there because there's a lot more information on that. Um, so really I want to I talk about mode 1 and mode 2. How, these gimbals on the front of this radio are not only adju adjustable from the modes that, that people fly in, whether you're in mode 1 or mode yeah. 2 flyer, but all of your tensions, all of your adjustments are now so, done on the front of the radio. So jump into that. It's from the jump. front of the radio. So um, in order to switch from mode one to mode two and mode three and four, which is also supported, you simply do a, uh, a change in the, in the firmware. Yep. It's very easy to do. And then you make the changes actually from the front. You'll notice on the gimbals, here, let's, let's are, use this one here so okay. see there are various plugs. By simply pulling those plugs out, you have the ability to make this a center stick like this and or a throttle stick. By the way, if you make this a throttle stick, one of these plugs that you pull out has two screws in it. Mm -hmm. If you screw one screw in, it makes it smooth and you can adjust the tension. If you back that out, screw the other one in, then it makes it a ratchet. Some people that fly airplanes prefer sure. ratchet and smooth. The other screws are available um, to adjust the stick tension, you know, both uh, right and left and up and down. And it also causes you to, allows you to either have a center stick position, um, like so, or a throttle. Um, the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is most transmitters actually have a throttle limiter. So the, yeah. it's, it's very unusual if you have the same throw on your elevator as you do your throttle because when you're at full throttle, it feels very awkward to go right and left. Those throttle limiters, by the way, you pull the plug here and here and there's a switch. You flip those switches in the other position and it actually limits the travel. Pull so, that out real quick, yep, you can pull it out, there's a switch, and so it'll actually limit the travel, or if you'd prefer to have full throw on you know, both sides or one side, it actually allows you to limit. Um, and all of this, again, is done from the front. With most previous generation and other brand transmitters, you have to take the back off or there are plugs in the back. This makes it extremely easy to set your uh, model up. Yeah. All right. And then let's go into the connectivity, which is a huge part of the IS-12. You've got Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. you've got Bluetooth, and you have micro USB. Uh, and that allows you not only the charge radio, but now you have an OTG connection. That's right. Uh, for flight control systems or Speed controllers. I use it for speed controllers. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it, the, the, uh, you guys can see that on the side here. Uh, this radio has a micro USB port right on top of the SD card spot, uh, which, by the way, could also be used as a additional memory. Yep. Um, so the radio has onboard memory, and you can throw an SD card in there for additional memory. But the the USB port there allows us to uh, to connect to everything. Uh, and and then the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Let's talk about that. I mean, we've got Wi-Fi, so you can literally check your Facebook on your radio. You can check your email. You can go on the Internet, search for something. You can buy something from your radio. I'll tell you, for traditional <laughs> modelers, I mean, our customers tell us they hate registering our radios. Yeah. And we, unfortunately, we don't make it as easy as we could. Um, in this case, in order to register a radio, you go to the register screen, you type in your password, you hit register. Yep. Somebody's going to say, well, why do I want to register? Well, the beautiful thing about this is we're going to have updates frequently. Yeah. This is going to be a very fast-paced, moving, advancing radio system that will have new and groundbreaking features likely on a monthly or every couple months. Right. So, and what this will allow you to do is when you connect to your Wi-Fi, it's going to say, hey, you have an update. Sure. And if you want to put the update, you just push the button. So it'll automatic updates. That's the reason to register. It'll get you yeah. uh, squared away so you're in line for automatic updates. Um, you know, the Wi-Fi connectivity, also the manual will be updated. So yep. you press a button, and the manual, by the way, is available in five different languages. You press the language you want, and it'll keep you totally updated. Yeah. Um, so also the Wi-Fi 
we have model images on uh, on our website. We're actually eventually going to have model images that will come preloaded. When I say model images, if you buy a Horizon Hobby, say a P47, and instead of having to manually set it up, go through the, you simply go in your transmitter to the spot that has all the model images. You select P47, and it's loaded on your or your transmitter, and you're ready to go. Yeah. So really, this radio is is an advanced radio, but the features that it has really make it easy for someone just getting started. Uh, if you're if you're wanting to spend the money for this, and I'll get into the pricing in a minute, it's not going to be a shocking number if you guys don't know already by looking at the site. Um, but actually, the beta <laughs> testers I, I mentioned, we have about 20 beta testers around the country, and of course, obviously, when we send the radios out, yeah. we don't tell them about price or you know availability and stuff. We just and all these guys, they were thinking, hey, this is a really nice $1,500 radio. This is a really nice $1,200 <laughs> radio. The features of this radio surpass anything in the marketplace. This is true. When I tell them it's 600 bucks, they're like, you're kidding. Yeah. You guys made a mistake here. <laughs> no, we're hitting the meat of the market with features that are yeah. important. Yeah, the, the $600 price point, guys, is for the transmitter only. We do have a, a $699 price point with a receiver, so if you do need a system, you can get that. But for just the transmitter, for $599, you're getting all of these features, the ability to run Crossfire, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, everything, and there's so much more. We, we can't even spend enough time here on this live to talk to you guys about the features. We're going to be doing Q&A session tomorrow, but we're also going to be doing live sessions with all the developers in-house to walk you guys through giant scale airplane setup, jet setup, helicopter setup, sailplane setup, to show you the programming, uh, the way it works. And, and, and again, like John said, this is very similar to Spectrum Airware on your DX9, your DX8, your DX18, but now it's an app form. So it's a tap instead of a scroll. Yep. You know, it's a swipe instead of a scroll and a, and a click under the finger rather than a click on the roller. So there's a, it's just there's just so many things here that we can get into. But uh, lastly, I want to jump into a couple of the ergonomic things. This mm -hmm. is built on, and correct me if I'm wrong, John, built on really a 9 chassis. So something. So if you guys are familiar with the DX9, the feel of that radio, this is very, very, very similar to that. In fact, if I, if you put one in my hands and it blindfolded me, I probably couldn't tell you the difference. It's all different molds. It's all new molds, obviously. Yeah. But uh, it was designed. You know, one of our most popular radios ever is the DX9, and our customers say they really like yeah. the feel, fit, size, weight of the DX9. So yeah. yes, it's ba it's based on that particular ergonomic uh, chassis, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, obviously new molds, you got the screen and everything there, the gimbals are different and everything else, but like our team guys, especially our team Spectrum FPV guys have said, hey, if you do another radio, make sure it's on the 9 frame or similar to the 9, it feels so good. Our air guys say the same thing. It's a, it's such a good feeling radio and we've just kind of stepped it up another, another notch. So, John, is there anything else that you want to hit on that's a key feature here before we go off and let these guys check out the website? <laughs> There's just so many features and functions. I encourage you to, um, to for sure, uh, watch tomorrow. Uh, we can, uh, we'll answer any of your specific questions. But truly, this is the next era in radio control. There's no question in my mind, four or five, six years from now, this is what, this is the basis of what the radio systems will be. Uh -huh. The ability to offer future advancements um, through simple updates is, is just amazing. And the neat thing is, we will take feedback from our customers. Customers have, you know, the beta guys have been all over the place with feature requests and customers. We're very anxious to hear what the customers think about it yeah. and what they want to see in their next generation. Absolutely. This provides the groundwork and this provides the architecture such that we can advance into the future and do some things that we cannot even imagine at this point. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, we are super proud and excited to show you guys the iX12 today. Make sure to check it out on HorizonHobby.com uh, and for more details. And if remember, if you are a Rewards Club member, you're going to get double points on this if you do pre-order it, uh, which I do recommend you do because these things are going to be going hot like hotcakes. <laughs> uh, but, guys, thank you for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll be back tomorrow, John and I, probably, with a Q&A session. So if you've got questions, write them down. Tune in tomorrow around this time, uh, and we will answer those and probably spend an hour talking to you guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great yesterday. Have a good one. Sounds great.